three. Thanks for joining me. Thank you everyone who's been following, sharing, liking, commenting. Uh, I've had a bit of fun, hopefully you have too. Today we'll finish off the painting that we did in part one and part two. Um, and if you've enjoyed it, please uh, share with your friends and even subscribe and you'll get um, to see what else I'm doing in the future. So come on, let's go uh, today and finish off this painting. Thanks. Uh, this is the painting we started with, finished with last week and a bit messy. So I thought I'd better finish it off. So when I put it up on the easel, I can see a little bit better about what it needs to, what needs to happen. So I think I'm just going to get into this sky a bit and de busy, get a little bit of this muddiness happening out here. So I think I'll just get my gesso. Uh, and go through this area here a little bit, get it a little bit cleaner looking, leave a little bit of interest there. Closer down to the hill, I like to make that hill stand out so I've made it a bit whiter. Okay. A little bit better. Also, the trees, I used raw umber, which is quite dull, so I'm going to. Um, Put a bit of colour back into those. A little bit of ultramarine blue and some cobalt turquoise just to add a little bit of interest. And some Australian sienna, Matisse Australian sienna. Mixing uh, those three colours together, to get a few shades of green. So, mixing the turquoise with the Australian sienna, and I've got quite a nice green there. Probably a little bit bright for some, so I'm going to add a little bit of gesso. Just um, to dull down that, I'm going to add the opposite colour on the colour wheel, which is red. So I'm going to use the pink that I already used in here, just so it balances, which is Brilliant Magenta. Tiniest speck of that will dull off my green. And now we have a more realistic green. So just a few different shades of green, leave a little bit of that brown showing. A little bit more white. And then I'll put the a little bit of the ultramarine blue in just to change the change the green a little bit. Make it a little bit different. See that? Okay, put a little bit of that green somewhere else just to balance it off a little bit, maybe a little bit of something happening in here. Okay, one thing I really noticed was that I had one, two, three, four trees. Try to get an odd number, not four. So I'm going to go for three, so I'm going to try and cover this green tree up here, which was a tree. So I get my blue for, for the water. Just get a little bit of that happening through there just to lock out that night that big blue mark a little bit too solid there a little bit of blue 
back into the sky up here. same green here and maybe just a few lines to suggest something else happening and that's more blue that one oh can't find the green so we'll make that into that blue color and just a few marks just to suggest something happening a little scribbles in the trees Okay, so now I'm going to sharpen up the whites in my trees just to bring them forward a little. Jumps out a bit more when it's a bit thicker. reflection happening in those in that water. Okay, um, yeah, not bad. Maybe a little bit of mess here that I can fix up. out those two boulders again a bit. I'm going to add the Australian Sienna with the raw umber. It's a nice dark brown. Just let's get a little bit of difference happening there. Let's get this. And one, two, okay let's do a big boulder in the corner here. Colour the whole lot in, just suggest get rid of that truck, a little bit of green on the shore. Remembering it is an abstract, so it doesn't have to be perfect. A bit more brown, <coughs> umber. Change my maybe pelt knife might be better. A little bit of just depth there. as simple as I want it to be. I don't think I need to fix it up anymore. You get the gist. Right now I talked about windows last week. I didn't have the windows with me so I have today. <coughs> Just if you have a window similar to this you can 
make a little area where you pick up different sections and make you could make three paintings out of this one painting on paper doesn't matter you could get a smaller smaller window and just pick up little look at that beautiful little painting there or maybe just a little abstract or even there okay so I think that one's finished whether I will cut it up whether I'll, I'll frame it as one or I might just put it onto a canvas and um, build onto it from there so that's the finish of that one